hi long time no see um i haven't really uploaded because honestly why is my comforter like this um honestly because i have videos that i have to edit but i don't have the um motivation to edit them um i don't really have a lot of motivation so i have to use it uh sp sparsis that is not how you pronounce that word sparse i don't know it's kind of like you're working on like a low engine, so you don't want to ex exuberate it. Um, but I wanted to talk about Mother Android, because I just watched it. I'm not going to edit this video, so I'm sorry if it's all like... Well, I don't usually edit my videos, but I just wanted to talk about it, because... So I watched it solely, so slow, just because of Chloe Grace Moretz. I think, personally, that she's a really good actress. And I just really enjoy her movies. Um, and I think she has really great acting potential. And so when I started this movie, I was like, ooh. Mm, mm. <laughs> it. I don't know whether to recommend this movie or not. Because the first, the beginning and the middle, it drags on. It's slow. There's nothing really happening. It's kind of just like. You know, you have at the beginning Chloe Grace, uh, Grace Moretz, and I'm so sorry, I don't remember the actor's name. He's Sam. Oh, G and Sam. No, okay, let me, let me just use his character so, you know, I don't want to be like Chloe Grace Moretz, Chloe, Chloe Grace Moretz, and just completely ignore um, Sam's actor. Um, but I just really, really enjoy Chloe Grace Moretz, and she really does a phenomenal performance. He does as well, but like, she really takes the cake. Uh, so you have two main characters, G and Sam, right? And so at the beginning, uh, I, they're dating, but she wants to break up with him, and then she ends up pregnant, and then the android apocalypse happens, and, you know, fast forward, she's nine months pregnant, they decide to keep the baby, and there's a lot of lack of planning on their part, there's a lot that was done for the sake of plot, because I feel like if they are going to Boston, because there's this like a pamphlet that says you know we take uh families with uh under a year old to out to like korea and so they're trying to get to boston but they didn't decide to leave when they were you know when g was like four months pregnant five months no no they're traveling when she's nine months pregnant um and it's a mess <laughs> and they get to like this uh, military like camp thing and they have like a a, like a fight because you know she is hormonal she's nine pre my, nine months pregnant and he doesn't really plan things well he she's like okay well you know the doctor thinks that we should stay here and have the baby here because i'm nine months pregnant i could really have the kid anytime and he really wants to go to boston and have her trek through the woods and then she's like well what if they send me just me and the baby and he's like well you guys can go and she's like why would you it's just this whole mess and so he I don't, so he has this, inter, uh, Sam has this interaction with the soldier, and the soldier's like, why are you trying to leave? And I'm like, just confrontational for no reason. One, Sam is not a soldier. And then he's like, you can recruit him, but like, he's a civilian. Like, why would he, like, why would, it? you know, like, I get that bodies are bodies, like, you know, to sign up for the war, but like, he's a random civilian. Why would, you know, and... I don't get why Sam, seeing that this dude is clearly not giving him the vibes of, like, let's talk. Like, he just doesn't like him. He looks for him when the, like, military men are, like, some of them are naked. They're drinking. They're branding themselves. It's very weird. Uh, I don't really, uh, you know, human beings. Mm. And um, the other guy's like, oh, well, I'll give you, I'll help you if you fight me. Like, if you put me, like, on my back. Like, if you, like, knock me out. And Sam delivers. He literally, I know, I skipped, skipped for some of them. But then uh, they wake up G. And apparently he punched him so bad in the face that he blinded him in an eye. And the commander, whatever, I don't know how, I don't know the ranking works, kicks him out. And she's like, I'm pregnant. And he's like, congratulations, you need to leave. But I'm like, you wanted Sam to fight you. And then he fought you and won. Yeah, you got blind in one eye, but he won, and you just 
Mm. So they kick out a pregnant woman, <laughs> and the doctor gives her, like, hydrogen peroxide and, like, says, like, okay, reassuring her, like, women have given birth way before the concept of doctors existed, so you will be fine. And so she kind of is, like, taking that, and then she's angry at him, obviously, because they got them kicked out, and he's like, I, I wanted to show you that I could protect you, and she's like, I'm literally in the woods, trekking the woods while I'm pregnant. Like, it's just so... It starts raining. Again, a pregnant nine-month year, a uh, nine-month pregnant woman, and his plan. They find a house, right? And so she finally gets a mattress, and she wants to have the baby right then and there, like at that house, because you know, like they have supplies, which makes sense. But he's like, you know, no, we're so close to no man's land, which is like Boston has the part where the military is occupying, but there's another part where it's just androids, and. Again, they do not plan anything. Like, why are they making these decisions right at the point where she could literally pop any second? And so the next morning she wakes up and he basically says, look, you can have a baby tomorrow, you can have a baby in the week, and he is fixing, like, a motorbike. So he's like, we can either go all the way up to New Hampshire, because their plan is to walk all the way up to New Hampshire, take a boat, where are they going to find the boat? They don't know. And then take a boat all the way to Boston Harbor. That plan hinges on the fact that they find a boat and that they can ride the boat and if it's like a boat that's like you know it's like he's like if you if it's a sailboat i can't i don't know how to ride you know do that and do you and he's like or we take the bike we drive all the way to there and we cut time because it you know walking will take three days and obviously babies are noisy like babies cry they scream they they're very loud, especially the newborns. And androids can obviously hear, you know, it's kind of like the quiet place. Same scenario, with like, and so she's like, okay, fine. So they get on the motorbike, obviously androids appear, um, and so they end up separating. So he's like, he leaves her, the pregnant nine-month woman, and says, I'm going to distract them. You head to the lake, and I'll meet you there. Obviously, they catch him, and she's having kind of like contractions, and this man appears, and he's like, I can help you, and she's, again, a nine-month woman by herself. She, like, beggars can't be choosers. She goes with him. She sees, like, a, a picture of a baby and a dad. Like, you can't really, like, he's, like, looking at the baby, and this man's, like, doesn't answer her questions, and she's, like, and he basically says that, you know, the androids are repre 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 reprogramming us and she's like why and he's like well because love you know humans are primal and they he, androids don't care of like destroying everyone to get the goal and so she's just like what and he's like i can take you to boston um just you know i can take you and she's like no i have to go get sam and he's like but he this is you know you do want to die and she's like i need to go get sam and because he has this like armor because he's an AI developer from this robotics company that basically it makes you invisible to androids in the sense of like they can smell you and they can um, hear you but if you stand like quiet and like cover your nose they can't see you um, and so she's like then I'll go and then he's like well I'm not letting you use my armor for that and then she's like well then fine I'll go and then finally it cuts and they're both of them looking at this house and you can hear a bunch of humans screaming and she's like what's that for and he's like well to, it's to bait people out and, and she's like who and she's and he's like well you and so he gives him the armor and he's like i, I can't go with you because you know i only have there's only two armors so you have to give it to the, the other guy and i saw this armor and i was like maybe it's the budget of the movie but it looked really like mm. but then the plot twist you'll find out one second so she goes through this house, right, and she, it's really tense. The whole scene is tense. And I really love this scene because when they show the androids running, they look just like normal humans. And I personally, if you're going to show me androids, make me, them super, like, uncanny valley or make them so, like, you know, just like androids, you know? Um, and this scene, they have, like, her face is, like, the, the skin part of it is, like, melted so you can see her, like, in the eye. It look, It's good and she gets to the room and there's this other guy and um sam who has had his legs completely destroyed and he's like the other dude is like help me help me blah 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 and she's just like stop making noise and then the android comes and she just 
completely quiet and then the dude who's sitting looks at her and he, he kind of notices that Leandro doesn't see her and Sam I get that he's probably losing a lot of blood but instead of like being quiet he starts making noise so obviously the Andrew and smashes his leg even more um and so she like cuts him loose and um the dude starts calling her names because she's not gonna save him obviously one he's not even he this dude like Sam is tied up with rope but this dude is tied up with chains um so she runs out and they're trace chasing her and then out of nowhere the dude that help that gave her like the armor <gasps> arrives and kills the androids and so th they like bring him back to the truck that he was in and she starts having contractions and she's just like screaming and then when she wakes up she's at the base in boston and the doctor's telling her that they it ma like when they he arrived with the car that it they made a lot of fuss but when they saw that she was um like unconscious and crowning or what not crowning but like in labor they like immediately rushed her in they did a c-section and then she turns around and sam is right there and she has her baby and it's this emotional moment of like she's just so happy and the nurse is like you know i've told them to take a minute but they will ask you security related questions and she's like okay and so she walks to sam this part i'm like she just had a c-section and she's walking around like no like she goes like oh but like i'm like you just i feel like do you walk like that after you have a c-section i don't know and so she gets to uh sam and he is like see i told you we'd make it my plan was kind of like joking because like, obviously his plan did not work out at i mean i guess they got to the destination but like um and then he says that there's a like a bad situation and she's like what and they basically had to amputate both of his legs from the knees down because it was completely destroyed smashed and he says that they don't really know if he'll survive it's very like touch and go and she's just like what and then he's and they have his shoes for him right there and then um they show us that they're be she's being interviewed kind of like who are you like how'd you get here and he explain he's like can you explain like who's the guy who's with you and she's like oh his name's arthur but he didn't give him my last name and then she's like well she's like he works he's an ai programmer and he gave me you know a vest and i was invisible to the androids and he's like what she's like yeah i was invisible and he's like that tech doesn't work and he's like well i used it what do you mean like and i thought oh my god you know arthur's gonna get in trouble he was probably like keeping it a secret and then she starts thinking and she connects the dots of like he because when he, when she was in the um, the i guess the back of the truck and like he was like a container he started crying being like i'm so sorry or they're all dead and like listened because she like, obviously has a belly and put his ear to like the belly and started crying and she just started comforting him and she obviously deduced that he had lost you know a baby or his wife and when the, the military man is saying like if this technology existed why aren't we using it she has this moment of like connecting the dots of like he him saying humans and love are easily packable and then she's like oh my god i made a mistake and then she looks at the bed where he's supposedly sleeping and the doc and the military guy looks as well and they both get up and the and there's a dead nurse because what they do to check if you're an android or human is that they like like inject you with like not I inject you but it's like a thing to like take your blood to see if you have blood and the nurse was obviously going to do that to him and so he killed her and it just grows into this explosion and you realize that he used that mo like dude it was so good that moment that moment like i said the end of the act was phenomenal and then she this part was a really like out of left field left field so when this happens sam is like asleep like knocked out and so she covers him like if he was like dead and so she makes like a like a swing out of the bait out of the out of her scarf and so she puts her baby in it it's really funny because when because she's sitting on a wheelchair she's bleeding from her um incisions uh again she had c-section uh, and the baby is just like moving like this <laughs> because she's like obviously like wheeling herself and it's very clearly not a real baby it's a doll obviously but the doll is just swinging back and forth and i'm like oh my god um and so she's realizes that he's going to like destroy the emp and so 
I don't know how she knows where the EMP is because she's a civilian. They don't really explain it, but she knows where it is. So she miraculously gets there. All the other guard, all the other soldiers are dead, but they're not androids. So maybe you could guess that they just killed each other off, maybe. But there's no one there. She's there, a civilian who knew where the, you know, um, the room with the guarded EMP is, and it has locks. And oh, the key is miraculously right there on the floor, and she's like grunting to get it because again, she's had major surgery she goes in and then um arthur appears and he's like they're all dead they're all dead. and just starts crying and well not crying like tears but like sobbing like fake crocodile tears and she just looks like w and then he just says see humans are like you know like inferior like you know programmable blah blah blah, blah hackable and so she, and he's like step away or i will kill your child and so she just because she has a gun. She picked up a gun. She just riddles him with bullets. And she shoots him. And finally he's dead. And th there's this part where he looks up. And his his skin is like all like. like you could just see his like fake human teeth. in his eyeballs. Dude that part looks so good. But then this is where it gets again unrealistic. There she hears like a bunch of androids running. Right. And so she opens the, the another cage. Because there's two cages. And a sea of androids of like 10 run towards her. And it's just a chain fence. And she's a woman who just had a major surgery. And she's holding off 10 androids. Who I'm supposed to believe androids are, again, maybe way more superior in strength than us. Especially a woman who just had a major surgery. Who was unconscious, like... But she's holding off 10 androids. Again, major surgery. She turns around. She lifts her leg in the air to like keep the door closed. And she's stretching her arm. And she flicks the EMP, in, EMP, e, EMP switch. It turns to black. She did it. And then wake up again in the hospital. And she's lying next to Sam. He wakes up. And he had got in a camera. And he had taken a picture of himself by accident. And he said, there's one picture left for our family photo. So, you know, and so she takes the family photo. And again, he's like, we need to keep moving. So they need to go to the harbor to go to Korea. And he, the, he has a baby and they get there. And she's like, I know you only take mothers and kids, but please, like, you know, I, I, I'll do anything. And then the woman looks at her and says, we only take the babies. Chloe, when I tell you that Chloe Grace Moretz acted her butt off, she acted her butt, like, I truly felt like she was this child's mother, and that she, dude, it was heart-wrenching, heart-wrenching, seeing her range of emotions and devastation of realizing that there's nothing that she could do, and pleading, pleading to the officials to let her go and to let her husband, well, not her husband, to let uh, Sam go with her, and then Sam just calls her and says, gee, I can't protect either of you, and you can't protect him. I think this is his best chance. And you just see the, the final acceptance in her face of, like... And so the she asks if she can have a minute with him. And so she's, okay, so, so we need to sign. It's kind of like, I guess, like a kind of like a waiver to, like, sign away his, like, parental rights, I guess, maybe? I don't know. I don't know. But... It's this scene where she's narrating being like, my son, my beloved, my, the love of my life, I, you, it could have been like this, you know, you could have had, you know, I would have been there, know that you are loved, that you were wanted, I could have been there for you and your father would have, you know, read you bedtime sorry silly voices, you would have gone to school and you would have come back and told us, you know, what you did, you know, you would have grown up near the, you know, near the woods and... It was just, oh god, it was so much flat, like, not flashbacks, but like, it's, it's like, kind of like, I'm, you don't know what I'm trying to say, of like, the potential future that could have been, and, oh man, and then, she's like, no, she's, oh man, I can't even explain it, it was so visceral, 
that's why I said, like, it was, I was sobbing, full on sobbing, and then as she's writing and, you know, the scene is playing out, it stops because she's interrupted by the woman who says, I'm sorry, we need to go, and she tells her child, well, doesn't, she writes it right before that, and she says, I can't give you a lot, especially with everything that's going on, but I can give you a chance. And so she, you know, kisses the baby, she passes it to Sam so Sam can kiss the baby, and then she passes it to the woman, and she asks for her name, and she tells her, please give him to a loving family, a family who will love him, and she says, I will. And they, wa they watch the baby, like, in the, in the boat, and she's just screaming and crying. Just, uh, dude, when I tell you that she act like, again, phenomenal phenomenal like for me the ending made up for the whole entire movie that was like slow and like you know, not that interesting the ending and so sam tells her he's gonna be okay and she says he's gonna be okay and then the scene that shows Sam and uh, G with the baby and, you know, seeing him grow up from being a baby to a toddler to a teenager, you know, having birthdays and then sh uh, showing him how to ride a bike, it shifts and it shows him as a child and a baby, but instead of Sam and G, it's uh, a Korean couple. And then Sam, you know, he said, you know, that he wasn't, going to make it because you know he's bleeding out and the next scene you see her by herself she's sitting in an abandoned house and she burns his picture and when i see that she burns his picture i'm like oh my god what are you doing and then she's holding the family picture right and she's just holding it and looking at the fire and looking at the picture and then it basically makes you deduce that sam didn't make it that he died and it's only her and so it's like what a mother would do for her child even the unthinkable of giving him up just to give him a chance dude heartbreaking and then he always had this joke like he was always joking with like you need to get air bands or air bands i don't even know but it's like a converse shoes all stars i think not air bands all stars and he would always joke that, 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 that like, that's the shoes that she needed to like be comfortable because obviously she was complaining about her foot pain because she was nine months pregnant. And at the end, they show that she's wearing his shoes and she's just by herself. And then uh, the army gets there and he's like, we're heading, we're going to make a camp in Portland. Do you want to come? And she says, okay. And that's where the movie ends. Again, when I tell you that this movie was gut-wrenching, it was gut-wrenching wrenching wrenching i can't speak it was truly fun the end again and also sam he did a good job of just the acceptance of like this is what we have to do i can't protect you i can't be there for you because the whole thing at the beginning is i can protect you i will be for you and i knew he was gonna die because he says i will die for you and usually when they say that movies that means the character's gonna die but I was not ready. I was not ready for that emotional, just, again, Chloe Grace Moretz did a phenomenal job at the ending. Like, it was visceral. It truly was. And I know you're probably thinking, wow, she's a little bit dramatic. And like, you know, this movie, out of left field. Like, I did not expect that emotional response from me, seeing that, and just it was it felt real it felt authentic <laughs> and i can go on and on and on and just ramble and ramble but personally this movie i don't know like i said i don't know whether to recommend it or not because the first two acts is really slow there are plot holes there are like dumb decisions that i'm like i would under i would get if she wasn't pregnant and they made dumb decisions because you know that happens but i feel like when you're pregnant you gotta be very proactive with things and they were just kind of letting certain things at the last minute and i'm like why are you making these decisions when you're nine months pregnant um but the ending the ending was is where it's at and her performance it 
she during the whole entire film she truly i did not hesitate i was like oh my god chloe grace moretz is pregnant like <laughs> she sold it like her being tired her pain the way she walked it like even the belly looked real it wasn't like you know how in some movies the the characters are pregnant but they're still like running or they're still walking like normally like no she genuinely looked pregnant and this oh, the ending scene man that i i think just for that scene alone i would recommend the movie if you love or enjoy those emotional mother just human like if you enjoy the humane aspect of the film humane or human i don't know that I would recommend this movie because it truly does that. It does. There's just you and you and you don't ever because even when they say like oh they only take the mother or they only take the baby. I mean they only take the mother the baby or not the father. You still are like oh but at least you know the baby has the mom and you know she's against it. So you th always think that they're gonna be together. You know even if they don't go to Korea or whatever. And then it's no. It's the most just soul-crushing option, you know? <sighs> and then he dies as well. Sam dies as well. It's just like... But I never knew if they were a couple. I feel like they weren't a couple. They were, like, they were a mom and they were a dad. They were going to be a mother and father. The, the relationship was the child. You know, that's... Because even when... Uh, they ask, and Arthur asks her, like, oh, who's Sam? She doesn't say my boyfriend, my... No, she says he's the dad, he's the father. So it was, I was always very confused on, like, their relationship. It, if she truly, like, I think she cared for him and she loved him, but I don't think she was in love with him. I don't know, but, uh, again, I think if you let the other things kind of go and you just don't pay much attention to those things, I feel like the third act really is this movie again i would have loved that to have been past the first and the second i think there was a lot of uh there was a potential like really great potential especially with chloe, chloe grace Metz, but i think it just fell flat um it's like the movie the fifth wave i also really like her in that movie um but sometimes the plot just you know, an actor can only do so much. <laughs> um, this isn't insulting um, the premise of the movie because it is, you know, androids rebelling. I think the true essence of what it is is what a mother is willing to do and kind of the juxtaposition of what an android is willing to do but not in the sense of love and humanity but in reaching that end goal. <sighs> so, yeah. I know this mo this video is super long, I, but I mean, I did summarize the entire movie and then just sprinkled my thoughts into it. But, um, yeah, I just, please watch the ending of Mother Android. Honestly, honestly, I'm not lying to you. It's gut-wrenching and yeah, that's all I could say. <laughs> um, I'm sorry if this video is a little, a little bit off, a little bit like, mm, but, uh, I'm gonna watch, um, cause, uh, I watched uh, Soul Surfer and I really love Anna Sophia Robb. Is that her last name? I don't know. But she's a really great actress as well. And I saw that she had a movie that's like a horror movie, thriller horror movie, and I was really interested. So I think I'm gonna watch that as well and see kind of like what's up with that, especially after this one that was very sad. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm interested to see what more Chloe will do. I really, I think. Someone said that she should change her agency. I think I think she has really great potential and I think the films that she's doing doesn't tone into that enough. I think what I saw in that final act, if that was shown throughout the entire movie, I would have been like, holy, like, Chloe. But obviously, like, I think she just could do so much you know but anyways if i keep on talking about <laughs> chloe grace Moretz, this will be something completely unrelated this movie is already a 30 minute video and since i'm not editing this no one's probably gonna 
watch. I'm kidding. Positivity, positivity. Um, but yeah, it's like three in the morning. Bye. If you're watching this, you probably already watched Mother Android. Plus, I really told the whole entire thing. So, did you like it? I don't know. I don't know. Personally, like I said, I would recommend it for the ending, but I don't really know if I enjoyed it. Just the ending. That was another level. So, bye. Oh my god, I almost destroyed Santa. I have a tiny Santa. I used to turn on, but it's ran out of batteries. Anyways, <laughs> bye.